Have you ever wondered how an author's words are turned into a book? This is a manuscript, and over the next few months, we're going to show you how we take these words and turn them into a book called Fists Upon a Star, a memoir of love, theater, and escape from McCarthyism. My team at University of Regina Press are going to make this into something fantastic. We want you to join us on that journey. Up next, meet Gene Freeman, one of the writers of Fists Upon a Star. The focus of today's conversation is a book that you uh, helped write a very long time ago, and a book that we're publishing at the University of Regina Press this fall, and a book that I am extremely excited about. And when I first read it, it was called Fists Upon a Star, a memoir. And of course, we've changed that title quite considerably to Fists Upon a Star, a memoir of love, theater, and escape from McCarthyism. And that pretty much covers the, uh, the territory, yes. Well, that's what I yeah. thought. And uh, so this is a story of a woman who came to uh, Saskatchewan right. during the McCarthy period uh, in which she was escaping. And so you actually helped her write the book, and her name is Florence James. That's right. So Florence uh, really was not afraid to go where everybody else was afraid. I mean, she, was, she, she embraced uh, black people. She didn't care if somebody was gay or straight. It didn't matter. And the to working her. poor, the, the poor people, you know, it, it uh, no, she saw the humanity in everybody and the value in everybody, and she respected that. And she saw the yeah. theater as a way of bringing that That's out right. of the people. Of the people, by the people, for the people. Yeah. Uh, she actually came to Saskatchewan to teach summer school at uh, the Saskatchewan Summer School of the Arts. They brought her up to teach drama. And uh, she met people, she saw what was here, and uh, that would have been around 1950, at which time I was in high school. And we uh, went to summer school and, and took classes from Florence and her husband at that time. And then uh, a couple of years later, after she had moved to Saskatchewan, I started to work for the Saskatchewan Arts Board, and Florence was, was at the board as their, uh, their drama uh, person. And so we shared an office, and we got to know each other, and, and that was how the whole thing started. And I wonder what role Florence would have played in that. Was she a mentor to you? Oh, when she you was met, definitely, when you met her? definitely. Uh, at that time, of course, I still had aspirations to be an actress. I was going to go into acting and be an actress. And uh, so Florence, of course, having come from the theater, from professional theater, and and uh, professional in, in the in the sense of people who did the very best possible quality of work they could, whether they got paid money or not, they were professional, and that was, that was what I wanted to do. And, uh, and so Florence, at the, after she had been my teacher very briefly, uh, then became definitely a mentor. And she you know, had advice, and part of her advice was uh, learn something else that you can do while you're waiting for jobs, which uh, came in very handy. I learned uh, how to uh, do shorthand and type which has also always been a very useful uh, sort of skill. And, uh, and then she, uh, she told me the stories, her stories, which helped me to, I think, pattern my life after some of the things she had done. She was a very high-principled woman. Mm -hmm. uh, she didn't suffer fools gladly, and mm -hmm. I find now that I'm approaching her age, because she was 95 when she, when she passed away, now that I'm approaching her age, uh, I find that I'm, I'm less likely to, uh, to say, there, there, it's all right, and never mind, and I'll say, no, Bruce, that's not the way. So <laughs> it's all Florence's fault if I challenge you, you see. Okay, so. that's perfect. <laughs> One of the things she does, actually, in the memoir is she... She really gives acting lessons. Yes. How to be an actor. Yeah. You know, so contained within this memoir yeah. are many of the lessons that she learned as a director to help guide uh, actors along the way. Well, I, I think that's one reason that the book is going to uh, be a very great interest to a lot of people, wide, wide range, uh, because some of the things that she, uh, that she goes into do in fact uh, comprise a, an acting course uh, and or a directing course. How do you put this together? Also, how do you, how do you run a theater? How do you make a theater? How do you run it? And, uh, and she was extremely good at that. Her husband was, the, Pop, was the front man. 
and he was the actor, uh, and he was the one who dealt with the the media, with the public, with the, and she was the uh, the backbone who stood behind him and uh, and I may say pushed uh, to get him to do what he what she knew he ought to do. So and this was Burton James, yes. her husband, yeah. and and in the memoir, the subtitle of course is uh, a memoir of love. Yeah. Theater and escape from McCarthyism, and and uh, so the love. There's a, there's this great love. There is, there's a great love story. The core of yeah. this of this memoir yeah. between herself and Burton.